Hi everyone. Today we're gonna have a look into an engine management light on on a Hyundai Tucson, and also I've got the uh, temperature gauge of the coolant going to red. I'm gonna put it on. See so there, temperature gauge went straight to 130 degrees, and also if I start the engine. You'll see, you'll see how the engine measurement light is on also. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna scan the faults. For this uh, scanning, we're gonna use the launch machine, which you got it right here. Drop down. That's it. We're going to, go to engine control module, and let's see what what fault we've got. So we've got P zero one one seven hundred engine coolant temperature circuit low input. Okay, so low input it means the signal wire most likely it's shorted to ground, hence the needle going all the way down to 130 degrees so we're gonna do a wiring check and then we'll see if the sensor we're gonna measure the resistance of the sensor and see what reading we get so let's get under the bonnet okay so I have disconnected the sensor connected right here and we're gonna measure our 5 volt reference and we're also going to measure if we got a good ground. So this connect only has is a free wire uh, connector, but only two are used, one and three. So we're going to go on this one here, and we should see five volts. You can see there. Hang on. Where are you running? Right, let me plug that in a bit better in there. All right, so I've got five volts, you can see there. And now I'm gonna... Okay, now I don't have five volts. So, if I pull the wiring, go to 5 volts, if I just leave it free, go to 2.9, see there, Now it's nice, nicely 5 volts. If I'm messing up with the wire, it's all over the place. So somewhere al along this wiring on the 5 volt reference, we've got a bad connection. Alright, let's check the ground. We're gonna plug in our pane into the ground. So hard one hand. Okay, nicely in. And we're gonna move our probe on the positive side and we should get battery voltage. And we got 12 volts there. Let's wiggle the wire a bit. See so there it's all nice and steady. Alright, let's now Take the probe out and put it on the negative side and let's confirm the battery voltage 1202 so we know we have a good ground but our 5 volt reference has a split somewhere along the wire so we're gonna have to take the battery off and make some room and follow the wire and gonna strip some out and see where the fault is 
but in the meantime we're also going to do a component test we're gonna measure the resistance of the sensor as it is now just to eliminate that too okay so I have hooked up the two leads I've got there and one in three and then I can read 1.49 kilo ohms and if you look auto data information they said 20 degrees between 2.3 2.6 kilo ohms and if it's 4 degrees 1.1 kilo ohms so we are just about in the middle and outside are like 24 26 degrees so pretty much we quite quite good so I'm not gonna take the sensor out and put it in hot water and boil it because that will take too much time and uh, I did find the fault with the wiring so I'm gonna repair that and then we're gonna uh, retest the 5 volt 5 volts reference make sure that's good and then we're gonna rotate the vehicle and we'll see if it works right so let's uh, take the battery off and whatever things we need to make some room there and uh, let's find the fault in the wiring okay so I have removed the battery and I have removed the wires from, from their clip there and look what I found see there the wires have touched the EGR pipe here and because of vibrations the wires are peeled off you can see a wire which is touching the ground there and I think it is exactly our 5 volts reference wire you see there it has a little uh, cut in the insulation and it's touching the ground here this is why it went down to low input cool so we're gonna take this wiring out we're gonna strip it all nice we're gonna make sure all the wires are okay nothing else is damaged except that one we're gonna see what is the best repair for this one Okay, so I have stripped down the wires, took it off nicely, and you can see there, let it focus a bit, it's just a bit of insulation gone, it's touching EGR, so I'm going to add more insulation on top of that, I'm going to reroute the wire in such a way so it will not touch the EGR vibe, and uh, we'll test it again, so let's go and do that. Okay, so I put everything back together. It's all nice and tight and now let's have a look out of 5 volt reference so I put the wire there and I'm going to volt DC and I'm going to plug in the and let's see how we got there 5.0 volt and now let's wiggle the wire and see if that changes so that's very good so I'm going to plug it back in and let's see if the dash is displaying the right temperature now. Okay. So let's put the ignition on. And the EML light came on because we have not erased the faults yet. But temperature gauge is showing below 50 degrees. So that's good. So now let's uh, go on to, on to our diagnostic machine. Yep, okay, let's do a system selection, engine control module, read fault codes, you've yeah, got some other faults there because we have unplugged some wires, so let's clear all the fault codes. Okay, let's confirm. Okay, got no trouble codes. And uh, as you can see here on the dash, the email has gone off. So let's, put, let's start the engine. And as you can see, temperature is showing below 50 as it should be because the engine is cold I've got no EML light on so all I have to do now do a road test make sure it's all 
all working fine if it is happy to turn back to the customer right guys thank you very much for watching this video i hope found it useful and i wish you a lovely day and definitely i will see you on my next video